everybody. Yep, it's officially Halloween season. And, um, might as well jump in. I hope everybody is planning on having a great time this holiday season. And I consider Halloween a holiday. It's a fun holiday. I usually, you know, last year, for obvious reasons, it was difficult because, um, with everything going on in the world. I mean, in, in my neighborhood, like, like most neighborhoods, um, people bring their children to the stores on the avenue, get their candy. That's really black. Um, and but they also bring them around to the homes, you know. And last year, usually what I do is I go to like the wholesaler. Um, I go to either BJ's or Costco's, whichever one. And I usually buy, um, like a, a bag of candy and I don't know why <laughs> so so funny I don't know why last last year I decided to buy two bags you know sometimes you draw a blank you're not thinking or whatever and I remember I sat out there because I learned in the past to sit outside and when the kids come with their parents hand up uh, let them give them some candy because if you let them ring the doorbell oh boy is, that's like no right so anyway I'm coloring black that's great right <laughs> So, put that back. Your pants is really in blue. I'm sorry. I sat out there and half hour went by, another hour went by, then finally. A woman passed who had two small children with her. And I was out there for hours. And I think I, there was like a tour of four people after like two hours, not like so many hours. but And then, of course, like I had the light bulb going off moment and realized the whole pandemic and everything like that, I'm like, oh boy, no wonder, you know, I didn't blame people, but, so, I ended up eating all the candy, it was a lot of candy, so, if you want a little tip, like if, you know, you don't, you want to stay away from the sweets, but you still want to participate and give out candy and everything like that. Make sure, this is a must, make sure you buy the bag of candy, or even if it's mixed, that it's candy that you don't like at all. Because I did the opposite. And I got stuff that I like. 
in well a year ago. Let me see something here. Yeah, I think that's part of his pants right here. Now this year, well, what I did was, and usually, you know, it's not, I'm not like a party pooper or nothing like that. What I usually do is, I, I don't, let me just see, what else am I doing here now? Shirt is old red R7, okay. I usually, um, well this is going to be a fun one because the shirt is all over the place. Wow. Okay. If I mess this up, forgive me. Um, so, I don't usually dress up in a mask and give out. I usually just enjoy watching the kids, having fun, parents, and all that. And I just dress normal and I just sit out there with a bag or whatever I have and give out the candy. Well, this year, I changed, I'm doing something different. So, I bought a little ale, because uh, I like aliens and all that kind of stuff, the UFO stuff. So, I bought, I have a little alien mask. So, I figured I'm going to scare the crap out of a bunch of the kids. Yep, I sure am. And, I also bought tiny little miniature Bluetooth speaker. I mean, it's small. It's probably the size of a quarter. Like, you know, 25 cents. It's, it's, it's still small, but it's a little thick. It's probably like if you stacked Ten quarters on top of each other. That's the size of it. Let me see. So what am I doing here? That's his bone. Wow, he's like shredded, man. Let me see. I'll figure that out in a few. I don't even know what I'm looking at here. But um. So I think what I'm gonna do is put the. Uh, little speaker like in a bush or somewhere so when the kids pass by I'm gonna they probably won't get scared of me at all I, wow this is a confusing picture I don't know what I'm looking at here but I'm gonna get them good So you made me sit around for hours last year? Oh, really? I don't know what I'm coloring here, folks. <laughs> it looks like part of the shirt, right? It's a pretty color, I'll tell you that. I'm sorry I keep saying that. I just. It figures. I don't need help messing anything up. And it figures I picked this picture. I'm just gonna color it. And we'll figure it out. What is that? That's his arm here. It looks like a body part or something. Oh, this is part of a shirt. So let's just do this. We'll come back to that. What we are going to do though is color the little cuffs. All right. All right, 
Okay, so he had his cuffs going. Okay. And now let me see. I said the next one is skin. Dark is the vivid green G2. So let me use this right here. Oh no, I hope that doesn't now start now. No way. Sorry. Sorry for that loud burst. So also, I'm gonna tell you about that speaker. So I downloaded a bunch of like crazy sounds. Like um, a rat squeak, squeaking, a cat going around. So. It's on. It was funny too, cause I I scared myself the other night. I, you know, there's this thing I've seen online, like with the pranks and everything, where people use like a a Bluetooth speaker. And they, and here, in case you haven't seen it, you can look it up and you could try it on your spouse. Just don't get divorced. Don't blame me. Um, <laughs> so what you do is they, they will put a speaker, like in the, let's say in the kitchen cabinet, like right over the sink or whatever, right where you're chopping food. And there's this somebody created it but it's online it's called creepy hello and it's like this deep voice that goes hello but what they do is when they put it it sounds stupid right now but when they put it inside the cabinet they put the volume like to the max so when their significant other or whoever family member doesn't matter is in that area doing something and in the kitchen right near the cabinet they would play the sound from their phone and it would just scream hello and let me tell you people you have to see how scared they get so what happened was the other night I think it was last night so when I downloaded it I was testing it and everything so I wanted to put it in my front window so I can scare some people as they were walking by. So I put it all the way up and everything. I don't know what happened. I got distracted as usual. And I don't know what what I did or whatever, but I ended up playing the thing by accident now this is like an hour later so it wasn't on my mind at all this thing and when it went I gotta tell you you know when you get scared that you like shake inside and like you're shooken up 
like it takes your breath away. It scared me so bad that I literally jumped out of my chair and screamed, whoa. And the thing that gets me is how nobody complained because I, like an idiot, I did this. It was like one in the morning. I'm like, oh man. All I was testing was earlier, I wanted to see the distance. So then I know, you know what? I don't know what the heck I'm coloring here. You know what? Doesn't matter. I don't even care. Um, and I just want to see how far I can put the speaker and be away from it so I can catch people. And that's what happens. You, you know when they say karma? It got me real quick and real good. Teeth, that's all right. I'll color them anyway. Let's see something here. No, I could go like that's not his teeth, that was the cracks. I don't know. I think this is body parts in here all ripped up. No, they are now. I just don't know what that piece is because it can't be his arm, right? Because when you look at this, this is his arm here. What's that? I don't know what the heck that is. Well, we're going to color it in some, with something. Oh, wait, I almost missed this hole. Under eye lid. Oops, sorry for that. Let me see what's next. What's this color, I like it. It's dark, but it's called raw umber. do this. Let me just move this up for a second. Let's go like this. Let's make the soles brown too. something you know what that's what we'll do and what's next let's
Just give them little fingertips like that, black. Okay, so we did that. Now we gotta do this. Nope. talk for a second about this channel so I tried um, some other things too and um, well to be honest with you I'm not I'm not giving up but yeah I could already see that I don't think nobody really likes this channel I like coloring, so that's why I still do the recordings. And I figure while I'm doing it, I might as well. But, um, yeah. <laughs> Let me see. I'm sorry. What was I going to do? Oh, I wanted that green again. Which green is this one? Yeah. I'm just gonna call it out. I think that's part of his body, I think. Um, yeah. So I even tried some things which some people seem to be receptive. I'm like, oh, that's really relaxing. But it's not even that. It's. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's just. Me, I don't advertise correctly. I don't know, but it doesn't. The channel doesn't seem to be getting any kind of traction whatsoever. So, and I know it's tough. There's saturated. There's a lot of other creators out there with it. But um, I don't know. Tell me um. Any thoughts? What I should change? No, well, not really change. I like the coloring, but is there something that you see that I'm doing wrong, that I'm missing, or whatever? Because now I set a schedule Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. So at least there's some consistency or whatever. And um, that's about it. Sorry if you hear the um, um the loud mouth talking and all that stuff. I can't do nothing about that. <laughs> when you live around other people, you can't do nothing. Um, but um, anyway, that's my um, coloring right here. So I hope you like it. Take care.
Thanks for watching.